Greetings everyone, welcome to another WIS technology tutorial. Um, today's topic I'm going to be talking about Google Forms. Now there's been some interest in creating a form that sends email responses to specific individuals based on selections made in the form. So in other words, um, the form that I submit is going to generate an email and send it to specific people based on my answers. Okay, so here we go. I've created this simple three question yes no form. Um, each of these questions is linked to an email address. Okay, so if I need tech support, I'm going to choose yes, and this is going to add the tech support email address to uh, the email. Same thing goes for catering, same thing goes for security. Um, so I'm just going to leave these all as yes right now and I will show you what's happening on the back end. So here is the spreadsheet. Um, you'll notice the first thing is this form emailer status. Okay, This is a script that can be found in the under the uh, insert menu so you can actually go to insert script and you can search for form emailer. Now there's two of them there. Um, the one I use is the one by uh, there's a Brazilian guy, um, H. Abreu. Um, anyway, that's the one that, that I use. So after you've installed it, um, it gives you, after you've installed it and run it, it gives you the option to customize the email that's sent out. So let's take a look at the settings I've uh, pre-populated here. Great. So right off the top, you're going to see the sender name. I put do not reply, and the reason I do this is because this is basically the from address, and this cannot be modified. So basically, whoever created this form is going to get all the e reply to emails uh, if people just hit reply. So to try to avoid that, I like to put do not reply as the sender name so people are aware of uh, replying to an actual individual rather than just hitting reply on the message. Now the to form, notice these hashtags and to. This is a placeholder. Now this is actually related to a column in the spreadsheet. So a column that I will show you how it was created um, in a minute. And of course I can alter the, the subject to my liking. So we can maybe just call this event request or whatever the focus is of our message. And this will be a static subject line for every message that is, for every email message that is generated from this form. And then again, it's going, this is the contents of the form, right? And you see the hashtags again. So where it says, do you need tech support um, question? This is actually going to be either yes or no, because um, this is a placeholder for that question. Okay, so I hope that makes sense um, so far. Then in the advanced, uh, actually before I show you the advanced tab, let me just close this. So I've added some formulas, okay? Now the formulas I've added are some simple if statements. So here it says if cell C2 is yes, Okay, this is the tech support question. Then I want the email address to be placed in there. This is just an email address. And then um, notice I added a comma space before the end quotes. This is to allow for multiple email addresses um, so it's properly composed in the subject line in the form emailer. And I did that for these three different categories for tech, catering, and security. All right, so notice in column I, this is a simple concatenation of uh, columns F2 to H2. So basically this is composing the two email category. Now, if I change this to no, you're gonna see right away that one of the email addresses disappears. Okay, I can do no again the email address disappears. So basically it's generating a to list 
based on my selections. Okay. So now let's go back to the form emailer. So in order for your form emailer to work every time a new form is submitted, you first have to tell the script where the formulas are located if you want them to behave properly. properly. So to do that, you click on Advanced. And using this little format here, just put in the location of your formulas. And mine was mine were on uh, sheet one, which is the name of the sheet, exclamation point, columns F through I. That's all you need to do there. And you can save and close. And then the final step is to add a trigger. Um, and you can do that from the uh, script editor. And when I mean trigger, I mean something that's going to actually set to trigger an email. Um, so that means every time the form is submitted, uh, it's going to send that email. So here under resources, um, I can see all of my triggers. And the one that's important to this is the time driven from spreadsheet on form submit. So again, this will trigger the email to be sent to the individuals that were selected based on the web form responses. So again, this is just a small piece of a larger form, but this is the mechanism that you would use to send that form information via email to specific individuals based on uh, web form responses. So uh, that's it. Um, feel free to contact me if you have further questions, but it's, it's a great little, great little tool. Um, we, I like to use it a lot. And um, I look forward to hearing about your successes. Thanks for watching.